guys are. Wait for it. Live. Wait for it. Live. Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live. Right here from inside the main build facility at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Wait, Bub, we're not in the main build, build facility right now. I can't really read what Tuesdays is supposed to be. We're coming to you live from right here inside the main lobby, Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Administrative Offices. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday. We made it through the end of the week. I'm Tom, and we all know the Master Bubba. Good morning, Bubba. How are you doing today? Doing really good so far, man. Just uh, getting a lot of stuff done, working on another fun project here at the facility, and uh, just cranking through the day, man. It's Friday, so everybody's getting ready for the weekend. The guys are out there doing absolutely nothing, which is typically what they do here I'd say Monday through Friday. <laughs> um, so, you know, we're all getting ready. We're going get to get the shop cleaned up here, get it ready for next week. We've got a lot of crazy builds getting ready to come in next week as well. Um, so we're just looking forward to it. We do, Bub. This episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. And from Miss Outlaw Boutique, the most amazing boutique in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Reach out to Miss Outlaw Boutique on Facebook and on the web. Miss Outlaw Boutique at 561 660 Five six one six six zero six six nine five. Bob, correct? That's correct. I say it every day, ladies and gentlemen. How do I mess that up? TonyRienzi.com. TonyRienzi.com, the exotic car guru and salesman to the stars. He was just here and just left the building. Monkey in Paradise. MonkeyInParadise.com, the two-time double gold winner right out of San Francisco, made here in West Palm Beach. It's number one, buddy. It's number one. We can see the cocktail monkeys are loose today here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. And Cars and Coffee of Palm Beach, the Guinness World Record holding largest Cars and Coffee event in the world. Bub, how you doing today, man? I'm doing really good, man. You're out there working on a beautiful, beautiful Alfa Romeo. Yes. Uh, you're doing a brand new wheel and tire combination on it. Yeah, man. Just, uh, you know, we're setting the stance on this car and we're going to get it sitting right, dude. You want to talk about a car that's just an absolute animal. These things, the Alfa Romeros, Alfa Romeo, whatever people call them out there, everybody calls them something different. This is the new 4C. Yeah. This thing is, it's a little baby Lamborghini. It's a good super, looking super car, cool. man. Perfect car for not only looking really good, has a lot of performance, a lot of handling, um, you know, serious setup when it comes through just an everyday street driver, but then also if you want to go out and get up with the guys at Hooked on Driving or Team BEM, a lot of fun out at the track on track days, dude. Fun. This car is an absolute animal, and we're literally improving this by that much more by a custom one-off set of wheels and tires, 18 by eight front, 19 by nine and a half rear, sitting on a set of Michelins, the thing's gonna be an absolute animal when it's done. It's funny, the owner of this vehicle is a I can't give away his identity, um, but he is the owner of a national, a major uh, international chain franchise mm -hmm. that deals with wheels and tires. Yes. And he uh, he bought this uh, wheel and tire combination for you to do, uh, and you're out there literally with the torque wrench, hand torquing each one of the lugs, yeah. moving wheel spacers, the whole nine yards. Yeah, you know, and that's it. Just shows, um, you know, when you want to do something right, you know, it's like right now the car came in. Um, those cars, you know, they they look. They look good from the stock, but you know, in order to make them have that, you know, really nice aggressive, like especially how we build and design here at BEM, to that, you know, to the fender fitment on wheels and tires, this car actually had a set of spacers put on it. So 15 mil front, 25 mil rear. It was spaced out. That pushed the factory wheels and tires of the Alpha out to the edge of the fender well. Had a really good stance. But sure. once you do that, now you've got a bunch of tire room you've got on the inside that you can actually add more meat to, and that's exactly what the client did. We went with a larger wheel and tire combo. Kept the same overall diameter, so there's not going to be any speedometer issues or calibrations, shift points, everything will still be where it should be. Mm -hmm. But it looks that much more aggressive, and it's done now, utilizing that entire fender well with direct fit offsets on the wheels that were done for the car, so there's no more spacers. Different lug nuts, longer length front, longer length rear, um, you know, so a bunch of different things you have to factor in in order to get that stance right, but now it's just a physical bolt-on yep. setup. Yep. Perfect. Well, speaking of fender lips and fender wells, Man. the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports uh, S550 uh, Mercedes is down. Uh, the right front air black bag just completely gave out while. What are the chances of that, dude? Typically, that I mean, now let's get it straight here. So air ride has always had its share of problems, right? And I'm talking like all the way back to early 2000s, even all the way up to now. Even in as high quality as they are in today's standards, today's world, they're safe, they're functional, they're reliable, they're super, super smooth. There's dynamic suspensions, there's magnetic suspensions, so they can be really strong even though you're riding on an air ride system. This one failing at 50,000 miles, dude, almost unheard of. 40,000 miles, 45,000 miles. Right? Absolutely crazy. Typically it happens about 100, 110,000, depending on how you've driven the car and how it's been run. This one didn't make it 
I mean, literally, to the end of its warranty, and it was done. I, in fact, I called Mercedes yesterday yeah. to check on the, it's a $1,400 part. Yep. Um, I'll see if I can get it in here. I'll share it with the audience. Um, it, uh, it's a $1,400 part, and wouldn't you know it, the warranty ran out yeah. a couple months back. Yeah, 48 months. Yeah. And we just hit it. And we just hit it. Yep. And yep. so uh, we are waiting for that part to get in. There's an active body control uh, option and a non-active body control option. Uh, of course, we got the one that is the hardest to find. Now the car is off the road for the next several days. This is true. This happens. Stuck on a lift. And things like that don't happen, by the way. Not on that kind of car at that low of a mileage. Yeah. And that's had nothing more than just local, you know, South Florida driving on it. That's it. it Ever is. since it was brand that's new. What it was, yes. It's been South Florida driving. It's been on smooth roads, not going over heavy potholes, not getting beat up. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, man, now it's not only the cost of the time and replacement on the strut, um, it's an outside of warranty, so we've got to cover that expense as well. But now, also, because it did drop so violently when that oh, thing blew, that's I was the entire into. fender lip rolled. So now we've got to redo the entire front right fender, which then gets into more. You've got to remove the bumper to get to the fender. You've got to remove the inner fender liners. You've got to get the door separated from it. So there's so many pieces you have to do just to repair that one piece now over one faulty seal. Unbelievable. Yep. I'll bring it in here and let it up the world see it. We'll share it with everybody. Monday we did classic car difficulties, Bub. We talked about a 1966 Oldsmobile Starfire. This is true. Uh, and the steering column uh, and how intricate and elaborate that was uh, and what you had to go through to get that fixed. Yeah, man. It's uh, you know That was a tough one. It's a super tricky one. That was GM with their, their telescopic and tilt uh, it columns. Was. It which was. was the assembly of that is... Where, are you leaving? No, I'm not leaving you. Just hold on one second. Keep talking. Hey Stephanie, where is he? He's just leaving. You back? I'm back. Okay. So very intricate. Uh, yeah, but we're in the middle of a conversation. I know, but I'm all the time. Ask, uh, uh, you ask me a question, and then you just pull your phone out, and you're like, "Hello." You gotta keep it on the set, man. Like, what is he doing? That's exactly right. May I please have? I want to show the audience. Uh, may I please have that blown uh, strut out there? Okay. Yeah. Mike, please bring that in. Just because you asked me to bring it. In. It's a Steph. It's a big strut. black thing out strut front of the up front. Big. <laughs> So, the, the, I like the air strut brought in. I want to share it with you. So, Bob, on th on Thursday, on Monday, we did uh, the classic car difficulties, and we talked about uh, the the complexity of the '66 Oldsmobile yep. steering column and the way you had to go back through and fix that problem. Yeah, and uh, you know we got it fixed. We were able to uh, source the parts for it. We found the bearings, so now we're waiting for them to come in. Super, super hard part to find even though that was kind of something that GM did like from 63 to 66, 67, they did these tilt columns with the telescopic mechanism so that you can extend or collapse the column itself. What are you doing? Do you want to just, just cut me off again and show off your nope. freaking strut? Go ahead. I'm done. Conversation's Here. over. I'm already done with that car. Next. Well, what's an interesting, Bob, huh? I cleaned that table. Don't get it dirty. Yeah, See? Exactly. Producer said he cleaned Producer. the table. <laughs> We're kind of in a loose mood today, Bob. Tuesday, we did Bubba style custom. Um, what is this? That I couldn't Harley upgrades. I couldn't read it. I couldn't really tell what it said. Producer like. didn't like it. Custom style Harley up there. Uh, he upgrades, forgot the Bob. R. That's correct. H A L E Y. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you were working on the 2017 Softail Slim out there. Yes. That bike is being murdered out, and it looks amazing. Bob. Yeah, it, uh, you know, it turned out really, really well, man. We're uh, we're probably about 90% of the way done, and uh, you know, right now the bike just looks insane, dude. It was um, before and after the difference of like the you know the factory polished mm -hmm. aluminum parts to now gloss black powder coating with the satin black milled finish. Looks really, really good, really aggressive, but still has a very clean line and look to it. Just like we like to build everything here at BEM, just super aggressive, really bold, really, I mean, uh, unique, but still very subtle and classy yes. all at the same time. So it's like, you you know, you can go out, you can show the ride off, but it's not so ostentatious over the top that, you know, you're like, oh, kind of overdone. It's just perfect fit. Right, and we talked about that yesterday, just the murdering out aspect of it with gloss black and flat black, with just... Just, I mean, a little bit of chrome peeking through here and there. Bob. Yep, that's all you need, man. Just a, the right amount of two-tone, three-tone. That's all you need. You can set things off right. You can set the way they look. You can set the stance on them. Everything about it, man. It can be totally functional, but at the same time, super, super aggressive, man. Like, we, you know, we all know when Team BEM's out at the track, whenever we run any of these events with Hooked on Driving, everybody knows when Team BEM's there, man, because you can see the cars and you know exactly which ones are ours just by the way that they look. Yeah. Not only the way they sound and perform, but by the way that they look. They all look like the cars should not only be on the track, but 
should also be sitting out in front of Capitol Grill on a Friday yep. or Saturday That's night, correct. which is pretty legit when you can have kind of a multi-purpose build style. That's correct. That's your build style. Yep. It's the best in the business. Wednesday, we did the 54 Pontiac Chieftain, mm -hmm. um, and we got that car finished up. Did that car leave? It's gone. I it did. It actually left. It sold for $30,000, so we made no, out pretty good on that car. Yeah, really good. So. Uh, you know, it just shows that that was another one that turned out really well. That and those things, sold. yeah, they, they typically hold a value between 22 and 26, 27, 28. Um, you know, that one is as tight as we've kept that car over the years for our client. 30, 30 grand was a pretty solid pull. Now right that company's going to keep some commission of that, typically 10 to 12 percent. Um, so they're going to get their little cut of it. But you know what, man, it falls out right where the owner wanted it to be. So it's perfect. Right on, man. Congratulations, Bob. Uh, Thursday we did we did a follow up to the. Uh, Tuesday episode, the murder in progress mm -hmm. with the 2017 soft tail slim. We brought people into the uh, the Gold facility and showed them how the bike's working. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, man, the thing looks really, really good. Um, you know, as everybody knows, we've mentioned it before. That's from one of uh, the Miami Marlins guys, and uh, you know, he wanted the bike super bold, super aggressive, really, really dark, so it just looked absolutely mean. Yep. Um, but at the same point in time, there's still the Miami Marlins colors on there and that custom hand laid pinstriping. Yep. So this bike is truly a one-off design, it looks really, really cool, and is now exactly what the client wanted. He's literally going to have something that is his exact style and taste, right. and no one else is going to have it. And the client was here yesterday, and yep. he was blown away by it. I rode the bike yesterday. Incredible job, Bob. Man, good turned work. out really good, yeah. It's uh, good super work. smooth, rode really strong. Um, you know, just perfect smooth down the road, man. Everything set right. You know, we discussed how we do, um, you know, Harley licensed through, um, you know, our chemicals, our fluids, yep. the primary fluid, the yep. transmission fluid, um, you know, all of the uh, engine oil and filter. I mean, everything on it we use is all Harley Davidson spec. It's exactly how it should be. It's set to the factory Harley Davidson service yep. manual. So the torque specs are set right. The sequences are set right. You couldn't ask for any better. If you took that bike and sent it all the way off right. to Harley Davidson's plant, you got it exactly here. That way, it'd be um, correct. Yep. Correct. Beautiful bike, Bob. Another great job. Today was our weekly update. Uh, again, I want to remind everybody that we have officially relaunched the online store. The Bubba's Exotic Motorsports online store yep. has been relaunched, ladies and gentlemen. We had a huge banner month with over twenty-two thousand hits on our website last month. That was alone, a super solid one, yeah, man. It's the biggest one in the company's history. Um, it was huge, and uh, we, we didn't see anything selling, so we knew there was a problem. Our producer went back in from an IT perspective and found it was over on PayPal's end. What a uh, bunch of dicks. So nobody could order. So ladies and gentlemen, the online store is now up. Uh, it's relaunched, and we made purchases, and purchasers are coming in. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah. I want to remind everybody about the Grassroots Motorsports uh, Glove Box Companion. This is for anybody who wants to drive on the track, Bob. Yep. Amazing information. Dude. Really good information, dude. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff that if you guys are out there and you ever want to do the track you stuff, maybe you've never done it in your life and you're looking at getting into it, if you guys do get into it, you'll want to put your hands on this book and at least flip through it. There's information you're going to learn. There's information you're going to remember, especially if you get behind the wheel of a car, you're immediately going to reflect back to this book. The Grassroots Motorsports book brought to you by the good people over at Grassroots Motorsports. I think I'm actually going to give the client of this Alpha one of those books. I just did. Okay, perfect. I just did. So he's got one. Yeah, um, because I know he's going to get out. Yep. I know we're actually we're setting up his original wheel and tire combo. Yep. Um, to be set for track use so when he goes out there he can throw these things on 26 pounds front 29 pounds in the rear He can put those wheels and tires on the car. He, he's gonna run them. go. That's it ready to go We have a local show Bob. I wanted to tell everybody about it's Sunday November 12th uh, It's the um, It's a, a vets day show. It's uh, gonna be a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot of classic cars out there There'll be some high-end cars out there. There'll be some exotics. So everybody I encourage you to come on out Sunday November 12th the 12th at the uh, but we're not going to be there. Kelsey Park. No, we won't. But nope. No, we won't. But anyways, this would be a good show for you to attend if you're in the South Florida area. And we'll put this up on... That day we race. Website. We race that day. That's correct. We do race this yes. day. The Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Race and Rally Team is on the uh, Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Network, our uh, website, ladies and gentlemen. You can follow the race team right there. Yep. And you can come out to Cars and Coffee. Our race and rally team will be featured at the very front as you pull into the Guinness World Record holding largest Cars and Coffee event in the world. It'll be right up front there. It was such a hit last time, Bob. Yeah, super good time, man. I'm looking forward to it. You know, every Sunday it's a lot of fun just to go out, park your car, hang out with a lot of great people. Um, not only fans, supporters, just other, other great guys in the industry, builders in the industry, celebrities go out there. Um, you know, so a lot of fun. 
9 to 12, you just couldn't ask for any more. Everybody's showing off the rides. No one's out there, you know, it's not a bash session no, like it's a not. lot of car shows are. No, it's not. Um, you know, not like the small town local car shows where people camp up behind their car yep. with a little chair and just talk gossip nonsense. Yeah, no. It's none of that. These are very high-end cars, really, really strong, well-known people out there. Everybody's out to have a really good time and just mm -hmm. expand the community that much more. It's a great time, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. I, we encourage you to come out. Ladies and gentlemen, I was going to show you, this is the air ride strut off of the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Mercedes-Benz. And you can see this is the air ride module right in here, and this plugs in, and this, Bub, tell us what this piece does right here. So that is actually for the magnetic suspension. So that is where you can adjust the way that this car handles because this is the ABC style suspension, which is active body control. So hitting corners, hitting sway, you can literally change the mode inside of this car to how you want it to handle comfort, sport one, sport two, any sort of racing setup that you want to get into because this is an S series, the AMG package, it does handle like an absolute dream, but now you've got to go and replace this part. But the, this bag right here yep. is what holds air and keeps the car up and down. It automatically adjusts. The car is very smart. It adjusts its ride height while it's moving up and down the road. We can see right here, ladies and gentlemen, this was showing some signs of wear. And I'm not sure what it was sitting next to that was hot, but this is the problem that happened. It literally blew this bag right here off of its seal. So the pneumatics of it would no longer work. These are very expensive parts. It's fourteen hundred dollars to purchase this piece with the active body control. It's a it's a back ordered item. So uh, because they didn't put the active body control on a lot of the S five fifties, that's what happened. There, Bob. That's it, man. So I got to get out and get this stuff going. We've got a client waiting for a ride right now. I'm buttoning up on that thing. You guys stay tuned for our Instagram this afternoon at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. You'll see this car before, during, and after in progress on this Alpha that's going out. With a totally unique stance. You're also having new shirts made, Bob. I am, this is true. So those will be up for sale as well. Yep. The Bob's Exotic Motorsports Monkey in Paradise will be uh, up for sale, Bob, until tomorrow. Just keep on doing it, Bob style. Please make sure you join us tomorrow live for our, uh, uh, the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports podcast in the world from 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on Facebook. Make sure you reach out to touch somebody's life in a very positive way today. Open the door for somebody whose hands are full. If somebody has holes in the bottom of their shoes, give them a pair of shoes. Pay less is cheap. And if somebody's hungry, feed them. Taco Bell, McDonald's, doesn't matter. Just put some food in their stomach. This episode has been brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. For the finest in boutique apparel, visit Miss Outlaw Boutique on the web or in person. 1200 Town Center Drive, Suite 108, 561 660 66 Nine five. Monkey in Paradise. Monkey in Paradise is the gold winning, two time double gold winning uh, uh, para mm. vodka. Casey, vodka. It's so funny to look at you behind the scenes with the headphones and everything <laughs> like that. It's still pretty funny. Monkeyparadise.com. Monkey in Paradise reminds you to please drink responsibly. And Cars and Coffee of Palm Beach. The Guinness World Record holding Cars and Coffee, largest uh, Cars and Coffee event in the world. Until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, let's just keep on. What are we going to do, Casey? We're going to do it Bubba style. We're going to keep on doing it Bubba style. Until tomorrow.